Alright, so today we're going to work with preferences. Yeah, woo, that kind of like, okay, I'll explain preferences. Basically like a settings file. Um, but you might be asking yourself, okay, why not just make, you know, a file, a, se a dedicated settings file. The thing with preferences is that uh, you can save preferences in a browser. That's the advantage. The preferences are mainly used for things like, I don't know, whether the user wanted sound on or off, uh, what the user's character was called, uh, their character attributes uh, as of so far. Um, you can have many preferences, you don't have to have one. You can have many preference files. Um, things like, you know, saving world data and stuff like that, it wouldn't be good for that. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just get started. I'm, I'm going to put my preferences object in the assets. It's going to be an object, but it's going to write it as a file. Hopefully that makes sense. So uh, public static preferences, uh, we're just going to call our settings, equals GDA, in fact we're going to initialize it down here. Uh, go ahead and import it, control shift O, I don't know if I've taught you that yet. I'll just import, I'll just fix all imports. We got settings equals gdx dot app dot get preferences, and here you're going to give the file a name. So we're just going to call the settings. Whoa, not setting a. Uh, 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 no. <coughs> All right, so now we've literally just created our settings file. Yeah, awesome. So I'm going to go back into my uh, game screen here and. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to save a character's name, okay? So, uh, we're going to have a string name. We're going to have a public static string name, in fact. We'll have it in the assets. We'll just have it in assets. Public static string name. And we're going to print that. Whoops, assets dot name. So, okay, so this is what happened so far. We initialize a preferences object called settings. If the game loads. The game will try and find a, a, an existing preferences file called settings. If it doesn't find it, it will create one and set it to the settings object. Okay, so that's every time the game loads up. Yeah. Now we're actually gonna uh, take a value from the settings file and stick it into the preferences. Uh. Uh, sorry, we're going to load a certain setting from this file and stick it to this name uh, string that we have here. So, that'll just be name equals prefs dot... No, we've named it settings. Dot get string. Alright. And this is the key, okay? So, the key is basically going to be the name of the attribute. So, when we save the name, uh, the key is going to be name and the actual value is going to be whatever the name is. So we're just going to have this key as name and the default value if we can't find one will be no name found. Yeah? That should now print out no name found because we haven't got a value in there. There you go, no name found. So now I'm going to actually teach you how to actually write to this file. So I'm actually going to do something slightly cool here. Not really cool, but slightly. Uh, I'm going to randomly generate a name from... Uh, not a list, but like from like three names. So initialize a new random object. And in the general update, if gdx.input is key pressed, keys.space we hit space, uh, I want uh, switch run.nextint uh, generate random number from 0 to 2, so it's 3. So we want 3 different numbers, so that's 0, 1, 2. Yeah, Java starts from 0. Case O, we're going to have assets dot name no sorry we're gonna have assets dot settings because we're gonna go into settings file we're not gonna touch name okay settings file dot put string 
the key is going to be uh, the key is going to be name and the value is going to be I don't know Eddie yeah all right um, I'm gonna break case one assets dot settings dot put string name um, I don't know Luke break case two assets dot settings dot put string name Muhammad break after all this I want it to save okay so we put the string but I also want it to save what do we do and that's literally just assets dot your settings your, your preferences object dot flush alright I'm gonna hope and pray that this works so we got no name farm no press space right so we actually need to load again for you know the changes to actually appear we need to load from this again so assets dot name assets dot settings we got Luke we got Mohammed we got Eddie then Mohammed we got sort of spamming out okay Eddie Luke Mohammed Luke so okay now we're on Mohammed if I close this and I open it up again it will be on Mohammed again because it saved the file and yeah so where is this preferences file actually stored on Windows it's just your C drive users your user profile uh, dot press and there it is uh, as for OS X it's uh, OS X on uh, Linux it's your home folder uh, dot prefs and then yeah it'll be in there that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys thank you so much for watching and I urge you to leave a like comment and definitely subscribe if you haven't already have a fantastically brilliant day guys I'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye